The first five cards here, the first spread, deals with your love energy, love romance relationships. And the sec second five cards deals with other areas of your life, family, co-workers, work, professional development, and things like that. Um, <clears throat> let's go into your reading here. So the first thing that I am seeing here is, wow, this relationship is um, a lot of hard work. It's a lot of work to maintain a family unit, and it's a lot of work to juggle your work-life balance and, you know, maintaining that home-life balance. And I feel as well, that's also with you and also your relationship partner. And um, first of all, we have very strong earth energy. All of these deal with earth signs. So I have here... Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising, when it's in the reverse, it's almost like you feel like you're doing all of the work to maintain the household, to move, to... I, I see energy shifting from one place to the next, and I feel like you're, you feel very encumbered by a lot of responsibilities, a lot of work that's interfering in your ability to be with your partner. Um, I'm also seeing, like, schedule conflict when you're home they're at work when you're at work they're home and so there's a lack of um, ability to come together to communicate to sit down and have a breather and to just enjoy each other's company I'm also feeling as well in the home front if you are living together this is sort of like uh, family members interfering, children, uh, obligations, responsibilities, but I see physically like people that might need a place to stay, a, a place to crash, a place to kind of hide out for a while, and then they're encroaching upon your space with your relationship partner. And I feel like you're happily accommodating them because you guys are very, very hospitable. And because of that, I feel like it's interfering in the relationship, okay? And then I'm also seeing as well, um, if you have a partner that is an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um, they're not overly romantic, okay? So they're 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 helpful if they feel like something dire needs to be done, but they're telling you to ease up. They see you struggling, but they're telling you, "I think you're doing it the hard way. We already have everything that we need. Why are you, you know, doing all these extra things to add to this environment when we already have?" everything that we need right so the 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 financial prosperity between the two of you is definitely there but i feel like there's a nesting instinct coming in for you you want to reach this space of financial independence and they're still at a point where they're feeling things out and the thing with earth signs is they're very very slow to act mainly because they do spend a lot of time thinking and assessing a situation. But when they do act, they know how to succeed and they know how much energy they need to put in to make things work. So I feel like you're dealing with someone who is slow to act, but when they are ready, they can be counted on. They can be very reliable and they can be very resilient. So they're telling you to ease up. And I feel like there might be a little bit of conflict between the two of you with you feeling like you're putting in a lot more work than they are. It's like you feeling like you're putting in so much and they're feeding you uh, scraps here and there. When in their mind, they're feeling like you don't have to work so hard, okay? I feel like somebody wants a relationship and somebody wants independence. So you or the other person. This is the Nine of Pentacles is a card about, you know, the bachelor, the bachelorette. It's somebody that likes their independence. They need a lot of space. So um, the person you're dealing with might want a lot of space, whereas you might want the commitment or vice versa. Or there's this estrangement between you and them because one person needs a lot more personal space. They want to be able to come and go as they please, not because they want to date other people, but more so because they just need a lot of space. They feel a little bit too crowded in the relationship and they might want a breather. They might want to, you know, take a trip on their own and it's like 
they just need to get away from it. So they feel a little bit claustrophobic. They feel a little bit hemmed in. They might like the outdoors. They might seek out opportunities to kind of leave the household, mainly because they need that breather. They need that space. And so please, it's hard to not take that personally, right? Like if you're in a relationship with them and you live together and it's just you and them and they're like, okay, I'm going away for the weekend um, by myself. And it's really hard to trust that statement and to take things, um, to not take things personally. But I feel like, you know, having this time and the space apart is actually very good for the two of you. Um, likewise, I feel a partner, this Knight of uh, Pentacles here, somebody that used to be very financially well off, and then all of a sudden they might have um, hit some hard times and now they're trying to pull back their energy and their resources. They're a little bit more concerned about financial resources. They're a little bit more concerned about are we being too extravagant? Are we spending way too much money? Let's slow down on the process. And I feel like because um, there's this, you know, tightening of the purse strings, it can create a lot more strain for the other person because the lifestyle has to shift around in order to accommodate this new financial changes, right? So that's what I'm sensing here. For those who are single, I feel like you're happily single. You're happily single. You're not at a point where you're meeting somebody that really sweeps you off your feet. You like your bachelorhood and you like, you know, you're, you're focused on career, building up your wealth, and you're focusing on achieving tangible things. So the emphasis isn't so much on love and relationship. Although I do feel many people like completely single or married. I don't see a lot of dating here. Um, and I feel like if you're single, you're doing it happily and you're just, you know, uh, focusing on that, whereas others, I feel like a lot of people are married and dealing with financial arrangements between you and a relationship partner. Moving on to the other areas of your life, um, unfortunately, I feel like there's a big health situation here, possibly with a family member, a health scare or something like that. And the reason I say that, we have here the strength card and the strength card deals with vitality. It deals with the energy it's between the tower and the queen of wands. So I feel like mom, dad, family unit, or somebody that you consider a member of the family, there might be some issues here when it comes to their health, your health, mom's and dad's health. And I feel like it comes to, it, it boils down to possibly being a little bit reckless when it comes to lifestyle choices. Okay. This is overcoming addictions, overcoming bad habits, overcoming, uh, unhealthy ways of living, living recklessly, driving too fast, driving while intoxicated, or even, you know, uh, reverting to, unhealthy forms of escapism, uh, drugs, alcohol, but overall seeing how it wreaks havoc on your relationships and also on the people around you. I feel like many of the people around you, they're trying to change their life around. They've had a major, major wake up call here with the tower in the reverse. It's something that has to come to an end, but they are taking their sweet time. So I feel like for some of you, this can, can be your energy or a person in your household environment or in your vicinity that's dealing with this. And you're going to have to kind of, if it's somebody else, you're kind of stepping up and taking care of them. If it's other people doing that for you, I feel like they're giving you kind of like a reality check and telling you, you have to shape up. Otherwise things are going to be like, you know, a certain way. So I feel here strong emphasis on health, taking care of ourselves, holding back when it comes to when we are frustrated with family members, when they're headed in the wrong direction and they don't really self-correct or they don't really foresee the obstacles in front of them. So this is kind of like a um, approaching a situation with more of like kitty gloves and trying to, um, trying to redirect them in the right 
on the right course of action. Okay, so redirecting them towards thinking about the situation. Like it doesn't only affect you; it affects everybody around you. It affects your family. It affects everybody else. So don't be selfish about this. So I hear that phrase, and I hear that conversation being had between you and another person. Uh, I'm seeing like uh, younger siblings, cousins, or people that are a little bit younger than you that you consider a part of your family unit. They're headed down a wrong course or they might come to you because of, you know, speeding, car trouble, health issues and things like that. OK, um, aside from that, I feel like, you know, for those of you in supervisory managerial position who are trying to climb that career ladder, I feel like you're you have already overcome a lot of obstacles and a lot of it has to do with negative self-talk and wondering if you have the skills, wondering if you have the work experience. But I do see this major progression, this big jump, this big leap here coming from the Knight of Wands, becoming a queen. So you have already proven yourself that you're more than capable. So I feel like you're blasting through some obstacles when it comes to your career path. And I feel like, you know, new paths will be open for you. Um, this is a an energy of somebody that, you know, they go after what they want and they don't really care about ramifications. And I feel like you're getting smarter and wiser and you're learning to navigate the environment of office politics and you're learning to navigate the environment of, you know, yes, I feel this way, but it might not be politically correct or appropriate to tell other people this. So let me just find a different, uh, um, a more... Um, I want to say like um, a more appropriate way to tell people how I feel so that it doesn't create, you know, stir up trouble. So I feel like you're redefining and, and, and reinventing the way in which you um, deal with people. And that's what's really going to help you professionally. OK, so um, big week, actually, for those of you who are dealing with, you know, health issues and with family or with yourself, I wish you a very swift recovery. I wish them, you know, the best, um, many blessings for them to overcome this. But I, I do see a lot of health things coming into the picture. And because of it, you might be inundated with a lot of responsibility. So, you know, keep at it. OK, the week will get better. All right. You're working with this energy and um, you're going to do things the right way. OK, um, I wish you the best here, Leos. Take it easy. OK, and take care of yourself as well. I'll talk to you soon. Bye bye.